Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the background color in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Adobe Premiere. So here you can see this black background. I want to replace the black color with a specific color. So I'm just going to right click in the media pool here, go to new item and click color map. I'm going to leave it at 1920 by 1080 or set the resolution here for whatever you need. Leave it at 30 frames a second, square pixels, click OK. And I can choose any color I want. I want to use a red color. So let's take red, let's click OK, and then call it color map red. Because you may want to create different colors. So let's click OK, and we can drag that color map onto the canvas. Now we see red. Let's do one more. Let's right click, and we'll go to new color, and then let's do a um, new item, and then color map. And we'll leave the settings as they are. Let's click OK, and this time I'll click a blue color, and we'll click OK, and we'll just change that to blue. So this is how you can quickly create different background colors. We'll create blue here, and we we'll drag and drop that on the timeline. And as we scrub through the timeline, it's going to switch between these two colors. And you can go and add some video effects or transitions. Let's do a uh, dissolve. We can do like a cross dissolve. Drag that onto the timeline here, and then when we click play. It will cross dissolve between those two colors then you can just overlay your text so you can have some text here color let's just do something like color change we'll click on the arrow let's just grab that text let's just open up the options in here and inside here i'm just going to use um let's just use impact so here's the font that i'm going to select so let's increase that font size We'll drag that here. Let's grab our registration point and center it. Grab our text and center that as well. And then we can just grab our text, stretch it across the timeline here. And then we've got a nice little color change. We can go and animate this text, do whatever we want, but we'll have this nice little color change here. It's a nice way to do color changes in Adobe Premiere without having to go and create you know, movie clips and stuff like that. It's unnecessary. This is just a nice easy way to change background colors while you're working in Adobe Premiere. Let's minimize this. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.